Hi guys, James at Rampant Line Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one, we are going to continue on with this Swedish series of reviews that I've been doing for you across December. And we've got another new brewery to have a look at today. And I've heard very, very good things about this brewery and this beer, so it should be quite interesting. So this time we are going to go to Stockholm and a suburb in the south of the city called Hockerengen. And we're going to visit Pang Pang Brewery today. And this beer is their cookie stout. Now, it's an imperial stout that's supposed to have some really interesting cookie dough flavours in it so should be really quite interesting but as you can see from the label there's a rather pretty but rather possessed looking Swedish woman there who seems really happy that she's just baked a batch of cookies maybe they're space cookies and she had some before she baked these but we'll see but this is supposed to be a really good beer it's rated at 90 on ratebeer.com and as I always say that website very rarely leads you wrong when it comes to beer regardless of what country it's from so I've got very very high hopes for this one but anyway as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual website links are in the video description below that's the brewery website the link to my future reviews that I'll do from Pang Pang this is the very first time I'm trying one of their beers and there's all the usual social media things down there Facebook Twitter and untapped so please support me on those your support there would be much appreciated and to my Swedish viewers I do apologize in advance if any of the Swedish pronunciations aren't quite right I'm still learning Swedish since I've moved here to Lund just a few months ago and I probably so I probably will screw it up at some point but for that I apologize and please do let me know some of the other Swedish beers and breweries you'd like me to have a look at the standard of Swedish beer I found so far is very high so please do suggest some other breweries that I may not have heard of and I will see if I can get them through Sisti and blog it but anyway, to tell you about Pang Pang. So Pang Pang Brewery are based in an old bakery in Hockerengen in Stockholm, which is in the south of the city. And the company was founded back in 2011 by Frederik Tunedal. And he'd actually been involved in the restaurant business for a number of years before he decided to brew beer for himself. Apparently, he really liked the sort of experimentation that you would get from, uh, from the likes of Mikeller and Toil. And these days in Sweden, you get it a bit from Mohawk Brewing Company as well. And he also liked American beers from the article that I read. But Frederik apparently built all of the original brewing equipment himself from old dairy tanks and originally the beers were all brewed in small 750 litre batches and I believe quite a few of them still are but in the early days these beers only went to local restaurants but they're now quite widely available through the nationalised Sisti and Bologa alcohol shop system. You can order these ones and uh, you can order them online and they get delivered to your local store so for me when I want to try beers from all over the place it's quite good but a lot of Swedish people don't like it because it's a monopoly so things can be a little bit expensive but I don't find it too bad to be honest but anyway the brewery have also been experimenting with distillation since 2015 and if you actually go and have a look at the brewery's Facebook page I'll put the link below but if you go and have a look at their Facebook page Frederick is very good at updating you with the new ranges and all the different things that are going on at the brewery and in July 2015 there's an interesting post about him kind of building up his distillation apparatus so you will see some really quite interesting things coming from Pang Pang Brewery in the fairly near future and I get the feeling that these guys want to make beers and, and alcohol and things and spirits obviously that pair quite well with food so I'm sure once this brewery get growing a little bit I think with their new range of beer they've been brewing on a slightly bigger scale but once they get up and going a little bit more I'm sure you will see some really interesting spirits spirits and more beers coming out from these guys but they've got an interesting range in the meantime they've got two ranges here as far as I can figure so the regular range is the this consists of the Putin in the Hours Paleo which was their very first beer Hornstool Honey Amber which is an American Paleo Double Pipa which is a double IPA Saison Ish which is a Saison Ait which is a Golden Ale there's a funny post on the Facebook where Frederick says he tried to make the beer as boring as he could but it turned out really quite nicely I'm not sure if it's sarcasm or not but it may well be and there's also the OPA which is a session IPA and they've also got another list of beers another range of beers I think that are intended for supermarkets or at least four of them are so in this range that was released in summer of 2014 there's the Flamingo Go IPA Bambaleo which is a vice beer Libertango which is a Saison Waikiki which is a Paleo Playa de Devkin which is a vice beer Palacana which is a Saison and also Coco Jamba which is a Paleo and you can order all of these beers as I say through the Sisti M blog thing here in Sweden. I'm not sure how widely available they are outside of Sweden, but that's something that maybe you will find in the near future. Supposed to be some really good beers. But anyway, that's all I need to tell you about Pang Pang Brewery. So let's get on to the most important part of the video, which obviously is the tasting. So I'll just let you have a little quick look at the artwork on this one again before we open it up. This is a 10% Imperial Stout, as I told you before, and it's from what I've read, it's supposed to have a really nice kind of Imperial 
Uh, it's obviously got the, a lot of the stout character, but it's supposed to have a really nice cookie dough flavour. You can see on the side there, there's Pang Pang, and you can see the women with their kind of space cookies there, looking very happy at those, kind of creepily happy actually. And you can see on the back here is the cookie stout thing here. And it says on the side, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it says Pang Pang Brewery, Hoka Rangan, Stockholm. So yeah, the bottle cap on this one is pink. And I'm not sure how well you can see that, but you can see it's the knuckles there. And Frederick actually does have Pang Pang tattooed across his knuckles. So this is meant to represent his hands. And it tells you on there, established 2011. But a very cool brewery. As I say, heard very good things about the brewery and their beer. So very interested to try this beer. So let's get it open then. So, as you can see, a nice smoky opening on this one. Don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but we'll get this out and into the glass and you can actually smell a lot of the nice doughy and bready character coming off this one as you open up the sort of biscuity malts there. Try and give this beer a little bit of a head and that was quite a nice pour I have to say. So yeah, as you can see this beer has poured a really nice sort of dark ebony rosewood colour. There's about a half finger of a frothy beige tan head there. Some big bubbles sticking towards the bottom of the glass but quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there. It looks really quite nice actually, so very much looking forward to trying this beer. As you can see, if I put my fingers behind it, there's no transparency to it at all. If I bring the light over, there is a very light hint of a kind of ruby tinge to it, but that's at the bottom. But otherwise, the beer is pretty much pitch black actually, so probably ebony is a good colour to describe this one. I always like describing my beer colours in terms of guitar woods actually, so I always think the beer is a very similar colour to a lot of these different woods that you can get. This reminds me a lot of ebony. So let's have a look at the aroma of this beer then. So without shuggling it up at all, without disturbing it, the aroma that you're getting is a nice, slightly roasted malt, a little bit of coffee coming out of this one. But on top of that, you can smell the sweeter things. You've got a bit of the, the kind of cookie dough on top of there. It's got a little bit of a nutmeggy or a maybe slightly cinnamony note. But it's big and biscuity. It's a nice dark kind of roasty coffee with a bit of the, the kind of nice biscuity grainy character on top. And I do think there is a little bit of nutmeg in there. So we'll stir it up a little bit and see what else we can get out of it. Yeah, it becomes a good bit sweeter actually when you sugar it up a little bit. And now you can get some of the sort of toasted brown sugars out of this beer. So there's a nice kind of butterscotchy or caramel note in this one. It's a little bit toasted, as I say. The beer does smell as if it is quite toasted. You can pick up a little bit of vanilla in this beer too, but it's big and malty, as you would expect. There maybe is just a little hint of a kind of slightly red candied fruit ester in there. As I always say, these red esters that you can get in some of these beers remind me a lot of the sort of Haribo sweets, but that may well just be a component of the aroma. Sometimes you don't get that in the flavour of the beer, but I think there is you can pick up just a little bit of that slightly red fruity ester from this beer. But yeah, as I say, the main components of the aroma here, it's a big malty one. There's a good bit of sweet chocolate coming out of it as well, actually. Some sweet caramel, a lot of those kind of biscuity, cookie grains in there. It does smell quite doughy. There's a little bit of, of a kind of nutmeggy character to this one, as I say. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon too, but the cinnamon it would be very, very mild. A little bit toasted. I think there's a bit of vanilla in there as well, mixing with the chocolate, but there's quite a bit of roasted, uh, kind of roasted coffee in there too. So it should be quite nice, maybe even a bit of earthy hop, but yeah, quite an interesting aroma this one. So without further ado then, let's get stuck into this beer. So this is the Cookie Stout from Pang Pang Brewery in Håkarengen in the south of Stockholm in Sweden. Skål! Now, one of the things you'll notice about this beer when you first try it is how smooth it is. This beer is really something quite special, actually. Yeah. I can see why people are saying... I can see why they've called it Cookie Stout, and it's done intentionally, obviously. But that malt base in this one is really interesting. It's It smells a lot more like coffee, so it's quite confusing in that regard, but... The flavour in this, it really is like like cookies, like Maryland cookies or something like that. Now as I always say with these beers, 
sugar them around your mouth a little bit and let the whole palate adjust to the flavour of the beer. But what I can tell you straight up, this is a very high quality beer and it tastes absolutely beautiful. So if you get the chance, try this. But let's have a look at the flavour in a bit more detail. Mm. So yeah, in the middle of the palate you have this really nice sweet cookie dough flavour there and that, it reminds me a lot of the Maryland cookies that you get at home, these little mini ones about that size. The, the flavour in this one reminds me a lot of that, but at the same time, it does kind of, this, the flavour of this beer does remind me a little bit of Ben & Jerry's cookie dough ice cream because there is an element of vanilla in there too. So yeah, in the middle of the palate, you've not really got a bready base to this one at all actually. It is very doughy, but you've got a nice light and quite sweet milky chocolate character. That almost just blankets the bottom of the tongue there. And on top of that, you've got this nice sweet cookie dough flavour. There's a good bit of vanilla in there, like I was saying. And it doesn't come across really as kind of cereally or grainy as it was in the aroma. And as I was saying too, there's not so much of a roasted coffee flavour in this one. That's a lot more subtle in this beer. Yeah, there's only a, a really, a very, very small kind of roasted coffee element to this beer. As you move a little bit out towards the back of the palate, you can feel a little bit of it. As you kind of move out from the centre of the tongue, you'll feel the roasted, slightly coffee-ish flavour on the very edge, just before you get the hoppy components of the beer. And you'll feel it just lingering there. There is a little bit of dryness from that, but overall, in the middle of the palate of this beer, it's a nice big cookie dough flavour. Some vanilla going on in there, a nice little bit of a sweet chocolate, that's the main thing that underpins the beer and if you go right down the middle of the tongue too, particularly nearer the front, you can pick up the sweet caramel and it's slightly a kind of butterscotch flavour coming out of this beer as well, really nice. Mm. Yeah, this beer is absolutely beautiful and the other thing I'm noticing when it's 10%, you would expect a little bit of alcohol warmth off this one but it really does hide it quite well. The beer is very smooth and very sweet. It's quite a sweet imperial style, which is a little bit unusual, but it works very, very well. And I have to say, very, very good beer. Could be one of the best imperial stouts I've actually reviewed on here. One of the more unusual ones anyway, but it tastes absolutely beautiful. But if you go out towards the sides of your tongue, that's where the kind of hoppy flavours in the beer come out. So in the back corners of the palate, I think there's just a little bit of earthy character. Very, very smooth. All the hoppy flavours in, in this beer are very smooth and I think it's just a very smooth, slightly earthy character that comes out of this beer. There's a little bit of a, of a dryness at the back corners of the palate and um, that has just a little bit of dryness and a little bit of bitterness. Very light, earthy hop. As you come forward and around the front curve of the tongue, it is very, very smooth. The hops in this beer are very, they're almost anonymous actually. It is a very, very light and very smooth hoppy character. You could miss it if you didn't know it was there. Mm. Yeah, there is just a very, very small hint of a red, slightly red candied fruit ester to this one. If you just pay attention, behind the very front curve of your tongue you get just a little oily bubble and you can detect just a little bit of a candied fruit ester just building there, and the, but it's very, very subtle. The main focus of the flavour of this beer, as I say, is the malt base, the nice sweet chocolate, the big cookie dough flavours on top of it, a little bit of a coffee element around the edge of the tongue, but there's a nice infused vanilla, and slightly, there is a bit of a, a, an almost nutmeggy flavour with the dough as well, but it's very subtle, it's not too spiced. But I mean, overall, this is a really damn good beer. The, the smooth, earthy hop around the edge of the palate is beautifully done. It works very, very well. So, as I say, if you get the chance for this beer, do try it because, you know, this is probably one of the best and most interesting Imperial Stouts you're actually going to come across. Probably the be one of the best in Sweden, actually. So, do check it out if you come here to Sweden. You might not be able to get this beer too widely outside of Stockholm if you're visiting as a tourist, but I was lucky and was able to order it through Sisti and Belogit. But in terms of the mouthfeel of this one, I would say it's mid to full bodied. It's actually very, very smooth. The carbonation is really low, and this is quite a big oily mouthfeel beer, this one. It's a little bit sticky, but you know, for the flavours that come out in this beer, it suits it really well. That big sticky mouthfeel helps the chocolate and it helps the sort of pardon me, cookie dough and vanilla flavours come out, it works very well and the caramel, it also helps the caramel come out near the front of the tongue too which is an interesting little uh, 
little quirk to this beer at the front. As I say, the hoppy character is very, very smooth, just a tiny little bitterness at the back of the tongue, and there is a little bit of dryness from this beer from those roasted coffee elements. And the roasted coffee in this one, which is, again, very mild, that does seem to be the lingering taste in this one. It kind of over, as you move into the aftertaste, it does start to overpower the nice cookie dough flavours a little bit. But I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful beer, this. And if you try it, I can tell you with pretty much 100% certainty, you will enjoy this one. So yeah, um, it's been really cool to review this beer. It's my first one from Pang Pang Brewery. I would highly recommend this. If you enjoy sweet stouts, you know, for example, a uh, Riptide, or the other one that I did recently was the the Muhu Chocolate Milk Stout from Terrapin Brewing Company in America. If you like these sort of beers like Riptide, Sweet Stouts, Milk Stouts, then this is one for you to try. It's a little bit different. If you like kind of sweet caramel malt flavours and chocolate flavoured beers, then I really would highly recommend this. This is a bit different from what you'll normally find, but it's pretty damn good, I have to admit. So I wouldn't hesitate to drink this again if it was on offer. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. Please let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it before. Always interesting to hear from you guys that are watching the videos, especially when you're telling me your own thoughts on this beer. This is a very good brewery from what I gather, so I will go back and review some more of their beers in the fairly near future. So please, in the meantime, like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Please support my social media things as well. It would be good to hear from you guys through there. Go and check out Pang Pine Brewery from Stockholm in Sweden. Really good brewery, as I say, and I will be back to review more of their beers fairly soon. So this has been the Cookie Stout from Pang Pine Brewery in Stockholm in Sweden. I hope you've enjoyed it, and there are more Swedish beers for you coming up for the rest of the month. Slange just now.